Hey, what's going on everyone? This is the Anime Man. I think there are predominantly three types of anime fans that exist on the online anime community. There are the elitists, the casuals, and everybody else who don't really give two shits about either side of the spectrum. Now, I'll probably be the first to admit that every single respectable anime YouTuber out there, whether that be them doing critiques, reviews, parodies, rants, whatever, they either were or are an anime elitist. A person who thinks he is superior to anime casuals and thinks they are the scum for the earth for liking mainstream anime such as Shingeki no Kyojin, also known as Attack on Titan, while he watches obscure, shitty anime that nobody has ever heard of, therefore thinking that he has a quality taste in anime. I know that definition might be flawed considering it's from the most reliable source on the internet, but in reality, unfortunately, I don't think it's too far from the truth. I honestly think that anime elitism is nothing more than just a step that every single anime fan goes through when they're trying to become some kind of a critique or reviewer or even just a regular anime fan. Like every person out there, you start watching anime from the Gateway series that everybody else starts with. The more you start to love anime, the more different types of anime you're also going to come across. And eventually you'll have seen so much anime at one point that you're unwillingly going to start looking down on all the noobs or casuals and think you're just better than them because you've spent more time watching more anime. Not realizing, of course, that you yourself were also that casual that you looked down upon when you first started watching anime as well. I've publicly admitted many times in saying that I think I was that anime elitist, especially very early on in my YouTube career. But I soon learned that Nobody wins by being an asshole. I quickly learned from interacting with all sorts of anime fans, anime critics, like people who know a lot about anime and people who don't know that much about anime, both online and offline, that at the end of the day, you can like whatever the fuck you like. Just because I or anybody out there expresses their distaste for an anime, that doesn't mean I'm going to condemn you for liking it and vice versa. But at the same time, it also doesn't mean that I'm not going to give you my opinion or I'm not allowed to give you my opinion. I think it's completely okay to give your opinion on an anime series so long as you understand both sides of the argument and present both sides of the argument when trying to talk about said anime. It is a very hard thing to kind of get correct but a lot of people have gotten it correctly and a lot of those people are very opinionated but they're also very respectable at the same time. And I would have loved to have said the same thing about this one particular article that actually a few of you lovely motherfuckers have sent to me over on my Twitter. Shameless plug. But after reading through this article I quickly realized that oh this is why I wanted to stop being an anime elitist. It's a blog post done by this just guy called Matthew on his blog page, I think, maybe his personal blog page, something like that. And he wrote an article back in 2013 called Elitism in the Anime Community. And there are just so many points in this article that I can't not rant about it. The first time I read this, I legitimately thought it was satire. Like, I thought it was something ripped from Anime Maru. But the fact that everything that is written on this article is probably 100% serious and there is no such satire at all really makes me just honestly want to cry in pity for this arrogant, arrogant man. Now, before we go ahead and rant and dissect this article, I want everybody watching this video to listen to me. I do not condone anybody watching this video to leave hateful comments on the actual article. I don't care how much you agree or disagree with anything that is written on this article. If there's anything negative you want to say about the article, if there's anything positive you want to say about the article, if there's anything negative or positive you want to say about my opinions, then I want you to leave all of that in the comments below. If we're gonna create cancer, I don't want the cancer to spread. With that PSA out of the way, let's rip a new asshole in this article, shall we? I'd say out of all the communities I've seen online, anime can have one of the most elitist. Great grammar, bro. Online, elitism is usually associated with assholes and hipsters and carries this connotation of unpleasantness. Well, you can think what you will of it, but elitism is a good thing. Why settle for mediocrity? If you could pick to have any sort of skill set, surely it would be an elite one like medicine or law over something like cleaning? Ooh, okay, let's, uh, let's come down to earth because this guy's already saying some dumb shit. The fact that he introduces his arguments by creating this social structure of occupational positions suggests that this is one shallow man we're talking about here. I have personal friends who are lawyers, who are doctors, who are builders, who are plumbers, and guess what? 
They're all fucking treated equally. Look, if you view your life as this foot race of who can get the biggest money bag before they die, then yeah, probably stuff like medicine and law is the way to go. But my personal philosophy, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on this, is that just because a person has a higher paying job, it doesn't make that person any better than anyone else. Look, if there were two people, one was a high paying lawyer, but they were a fucking dickhead, and there was a low paying builder who is one of the most selfless, nice people in the world, then I will probably look at the builder and think more highly of him and want to be friends with him rather than the dickhead lawyer. Man, the fact that you said that, Matthew, I would love to see what you do for a job right now. Then we'll get my doctor and lawyer friends to put you down all you want. Now, how exactly would you define an elitist? Someone who thinks generic shonen shit is bad? Further than that? How elite do you have to go before you're at the elitist stage? I don't know, dude, but by the sounds of it, you're already fucking there. I'm going to say that, relatively, an elitist in the anime community is someone who can realize the flaws of shows that aren't just generic battle shonens, and can argue as to why a series like Hyoka is good. And I'm going to say that, relatively, you're fucking wrong. You don't need to be an elitist to identify that a show like Hyoka is a good fucking show. There are plenty of people in the community who have watched Hyoka and have praised it, regardless of if they're elitist or not. With that logic, Matthew, wouldn't someone who is able to identify why generic battle shonens are, in fact, good with good arguments, and at the same time be able to prove to you and show you why, say, Hyoka is maybe just a mediocre, maybe even an overrated show, wouldn't someone like that also be considered an elitist? I don't think it's about whether you can identify if a show is good or not. It's about whether you can identify the pros and cons of one show concisely, while also realizing that your particular taste on said anime isn't definite. Shoving this idea down people's throats of all battle shonens are fucking generic and shitty and Hyoka is an amazing show is what makes you an elitist. And identifying the pros and cons of a show while simultaneously also being open to different people's mindsets on the pros and cons, in my opinion, is what makes you a good fucking reviewer. The thing is that since the community is saturated so strongly with casuals that it lowers what it actually takes to be seen as an elitist, a true elitist would probably stick to more old or obscure series like Shoujo Kakume Utena. In all honesty, most of the people labeled as an elitist aren't really elitist. They're just voicing their opinions, which is a good thing. It's a nice change from LOL Naruto the best XDDD Naruto X Sakura or some other dribble. Oh my god, did this fu- did this guy proofread what he just fucking wrote? You literally just said that elitists are actually good because they're just voicing their opinions and that having different opinions is a good thing. And then you immediately state that voicing your opinions on Naruto being good is drivel because it's not valid enough? Like, what? Why do you get to say what is dribble and what is a legit opinion? The fact that you think yours and other elitist opinions hold more value and worth within the anime community is the entire reason as to why elitists like you are looked down upon by everybody else in this fucking community. Not to mention that you think that elitists only watch old and obscure anime like Utena and that everybody else only watches generic battle shonens like Naruto. It's pretty fucking stupid of you to assume. If you did any fucking research, you would know that Shoujo Kakume Utena is just as universally praised as shows like Hyoka. The only difference being that Utena was released 15 years before Hyoka was, and so unlike Hyoka, Utena didn't receive the brunt of the Western anime community as it wasn't as well built up as when Hyoka came out. And as much as you may not like it specifically, you can't deny the fact that you can't even compare both Hyoka and Utena to the massive success that Naruto has built up both in Japan and the Western community. All three of these series were very well received for their time period. Just because one show is more older and obscure than the other, it doesn't necessarily make it any fucking better. I feel the problem with it is you either have to hide away within an elitist community, so you're relegating yourself to a niche part of an already niche set of people, or try and be louder than the 10 insufferable fanboys around you, which can make you look like a big of an arrogant person. Look who's fucking talking! There's a reason why it makes you look more like an arrogant person. Because you fucking are one. You call these people insufferable fanboys for expressing their love for Naruto, which is a series that you personally don't quite enjoy, while simultaneously shouting your love for a more old and obscure series like Utena. Haven't you ever stopped to think that 
It's kind of the same fucking thing. Wouldn't that just make you an insufferable fanboy? For Utena? Why does expressing your love for a more old and obscure series just immediately denounce you of your fanboy card? You really need to reflect on what you're saying. The truth is that that one guy in the crowd isn't arrogant, he's just having to make up for all of the retardedness that is bestowed around him. Take a comment section for example. If I was looking at a video or article related to random anime series and went down to the comments only to see masses of people saying how good it is, then I'm probably going to assume it's worth watching. Unfortunately, popular opinion isn't always right. It's and unbelievably wrong in the anime community. So what if this show that everyone is orgasming over is actually a big steaming pile of shit? Well, it's up to Mr. Elitist to shed some light to the unwary reader that the show isn't as good as people would have you believe. And he's going to have to stand out more than all the stupid comments that surround him. Oh my fucking god. You, you need to get outside and start talking to some actual people, my dude. If you think that every single person who doesn't agree with your worthy opinion is retarded, then I'm sorry to say, but that's fucking arrogant. And look, as much as I hate to do it, I do agree with you on the point that yes, popular opinion isn't exactly the correct opinion in a lot of cases. And well, that's just because, you know, Anime is fucking subjective. People like and dislike different things. And I don't understand this point you're trying to make. If there was a comment section of an anime series that you've never seen before and everybody is saying it's good, then what's wrong with giving it a go? You won't know if you hate it until you've watched it, so you're gonna watch it regardless of what the comments are saying, right? And if you watch it and you end up hating it, then, well, you didn't like that anime. End of story. If the large majority of the people who watched it said it was a good show and you didn't enjoy it, that doesn't mean that the show is shit and that they're uneducated. It might just mean you personally didn't like that show. Why do you think your opinion gives any more credence as to whether a show is objectively shit or not just because you've seen more old and obscure anime? So there's why your average elitist probably comes across like a bit of a prick. Truth is, they're only trying to help you. And if you don't take that help, don't expect them to be very happy with you. And truth is, if people didn't ask for your opinion in such an arrogant manner, don't expect a lot of people to be happy with you either. You have to understand that there's nothing wrong with giving your opposing opinion on a show, but there are ways that you can do that in respectable, understanding ways. But in order to do that, you need to get off your elitist fucking high horse first. Moving on to the other option available to Mr. Elitist, joining a community that suits him. This is infinitely easier than trying to convince morons to open their minds or just start using it for once. No, why would you do that? If you willingly go and join a community full of elitists who I think themselves don't know how to open up their fucking minds, then it's just gonna be this endless bukkake of arrogance. You don't have to try and convince these quote unquote morons to to open up their minds. You have to convince yourself to open up your mind. You're the one that has his head up his own ass, not them. Arrogance is just going to feed more arrogance. Don't fall in that loop, dude. If you try to take the elitist mind frame with you anywhere, you're probably gonna have a bad time. You'll be moving from that place where everyone and their mother has heard of Lane, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Mushishi, Evil Jikan, and many others, to somewhere where people haven't even seen ever because it looks old or some bullshit. What? I don't know who you've been talking to, Matthew, but I genuinely have never met anybody who said they didn't watch Eva because it looks old. They're probably not watching shows like Eva because, I don't know, maybe they don't like mecha anime. Or maybe, surprise, surprise, they don't like anime at all. You ever thought about that? This probably makes Mr. Elitist quite angry or upset, so please don't take his possible hostility the wrong way. He's suffering terribly outside of his Elitist community. In fact, you could even try listening to him. He's Elitist for a reason. He likes good shit. You'd be silly not to. Oh, woe is me! Mr. Elitist is feeling horrible because we don't willingly suck his dick for his amazing opinions on anime here, so graciously bestow upon all of us. Shut the fuck up. You say Mr. Elitist is sad because people don't listen to his opinions. Well, maybe we should start with 
you listening to other people's opinions? Treat others as you would like to be treated, motherfucker. Back when I was a noob, I'm glad I had an experienced voice in my ear. It saved me a lot of time I would have otherwise had to spend making my way through a load of shit to find the good stuff. Once you've found that good stuff, then you have something to compare future things you see to. I would argue that by thinking like that, you are no different to the quote-unquote casuals that you so look down upon. In my opinion, in order to find the truly good shit that you really, really enjoy, you have to unfortunately sit through a lot of shit anime and identify why either ones are good or bad. It's not good to keep wallowing in these untouchably amazing anime series and think that everything else is comparatively shit. Where is the joy in setting this massive standard of anime for yourself and potentially miss out on a bunch of amazing anime series that you might have enjoyed just as much if you had just given it a go? Again, that makes you no different to the quote unquote insufferable fanboys you look down upon for loving something as being this untouchably amazing amazing show. The only difference is that instead of Naruto, it's another anime, so what makes you any fucking different? You know, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I guess I'm trying to say elitism is good. I mean, why wouldn't you listen to someone that's pretty serious about a topic and has spent a lot of time on it? Oh man, that is a good question. I mean, considering you've been extremely fucking hypocritical throughout this entire article. Look, I get that elitists view anime as this very, very serious thing. I, I get that, dude. But again, there are so many ways that you can convey that really serious opinion you have in less douchey sounding ways. All you have to do is just be open-minded to other opposing opinions and give thoughts on both sides of the spectrum of said series concisely and then let the readers or the viewers of your opinion make the minds up for themselves. That's what I and many other anime YouTubers have been doing throughout their videos and well, it's kind of been working. Or at least I hope it's been working. You know what? You might well and truly have shit taste. I don't care. It's probably terminal without cure. I'm not ever going to say, stop watching mediocre shows. I'd recommend other things over them, encourage you to watch things that are more or less objectively good, but I'll also try my best not to shove opinions down your throat. You can't say that you'll do your best not to shove opinions down people's throats when you've spent this entire fucking article shoving down people's throats of Utena is good and Naruto is shit. You know what else is terminal without cure? Your fucking arrogance for superior taste. Just be courteous to me and any other strongly opinionated individuals and listen to us now and then. I don't care what you like, you can like whatever you want. What's annoying is when you're telling everyone how good Naruto or some other shit is, when in reality it's mediocre at the best of times. That's like your opinion, man. Look, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Naruto myself, but I'm I'm not gonna go out of my way to write an article telling people that it's okay to like whatever you like after you've called those people insufferable fanboys and that all of their opinions on the show are nothing but dribble. If you want us to hear you out, then you best start being courteous to other people too. I guess it's also worth mentioning the effects of shit taste has on how onlookers view the anime community. To a normal fag, anime means A, Pokemon, Naruto, Bleach, possibly even Shingeki no Kyojin, or B, excessive fan service and pedophilia. What I wish people would think of when they hear anime is stuff like Akira, Evangelion, 5 centimeters per second, Yojohan Shinwa Taike, etc. Look, as much as I also want to agree with you, I also think you're fucking retarded and uneducated. As much as I also love Akira, Eva, Shinkai Makoto, Morimi Tomihiko, you also have to understand that these normal fag anime that you so look lowly down upon is also the series that probably got you into anime in the first place. There isn't a single person that has especially recently come into this modern anime community that starts watching anime through movies like Akira and shows like Eva. Why? Because the demographic is completely different. Most people People start watching anime from a young age and so naturally they're going to be exposed to shows that are aimed towards that younger demographic like Pokemon, Naruto, Bleach, Attack on Titan, etc. While Akira and Eva and Shinkai Makoto and Morimi Tomihiko are all targeted towards a more older adolescent to adult demographic. What's amazingly hypocritical is that you even admitted this yourself earlier in the article when you said that you only used to watch more mainstream films until your elitist of a film teacher introduced you to more of the obscure stuff. When you started watching film, you didn't start from all the obscure shit like you so claim to have in the field of anime. So it's 
a little bit hypocritical and unfair to look so lowly upon other people who have literally just done the same thing that you did in film in the field of anime, don't you think? You're like that one guy who just got his full driver's license only a few days ago, and you're driving along and there is a learner driver in front of you, and you get unnecessarily pissed off at that learner driver for being a learner driver, when you only just got your license a few days ago. How about instead of unnecessarily getting pissed off at the learner driver for being a learner driver, you just drive around him and just go on with your day. Think of all the unnecessary stress and oppression that you'll get out of your life if you just did that. So then, good old Matthew starts his conclusion to the article and if you thought I was pissed off already then, oh man, this last paragraph takes the fucking cake. Disclaimer, I'm far from being truly elitist myself. By most standards, my favorite shows are pretty entry level. Well, by the standards of A board and the likes at least. Which is why I'm always shocked when I see longtime anime fans who haven't even seen like five of the shows I'd call great. I'm so glad you saved this point for last, my dude, because it is easily the most retarded thing you've said in this entire article. Really, you're gonna say all of what you just said and not claim to be an elitist. After you spent that whole time speaking for every elitist out there, defending all of their arrogant douchey asses for not being open-minded enough to understand the gravity of the modern anime community, and being so closed off in your own pseudo-intellectual bubble that you don't accept the community for what it's grown to be. Really, my dude? It's honestly so sad that you would be so quick to judge a anime fan's taste just because they haven't seen five series that you think are amazing. I'm sorry, but who the fuck do you think you are? Why do you think that the rest of us have to abide by your shitty standards? Who says that every long-term anime fan has to agree with everything that you think is good and bad in the anime scene? Why are we the ones that have to go with your rules or the A-board rules and join in on your little elitist gangbang session? Fuck that, dude! People like you is what's wrong with this community and is single-handedly killing what I think is the most amazing and interesting part of the anime community. Variety. Discussing anime with all sorts of people in an understanding, civilized manner is what gets people to talk more and more about all the good and bad anime. Back when, now if I look at it, I was an anime elitist, even before I was doing this YouTube thing, I had a really fucking terrible time. I would literally shut my mind away from any kind of differing opinion because I would think that what I think about a show was amazing and I couldn't take any criticism or anything. But fast forward five years later to now, whenever I go to anime conventions and meet people, some of the best conversations I have at these conventions is when I meet someone and they open up their mind and opinion about a certain anime that they disagree with me on. And by talking to them, it gives me new insight towards that show that maybe I would otherwise never have even thought about if I didn't open my mind up to different opinions. It's engaging. It gets people learning and talking about all sorts of different aspects of the anime community. And you know what? I fucking love it now. And I'm not gonna let snobby-nosed, arrogant pricks like you and the rest of the anime elites out there to ruin that for me and everybody else in this community. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry if I sounded a little bit too harsh on this guy. Obviously my opinions on this are going to differ with other people's and if you want to throw in your two cents about anything I said or anything that this article said then again please feel free to leave it in the comments of this video. I'd actually love to hear your opinions on stuff and if you can get a civilized understanding conversation going on in the comments then Hey, we're on the right track. Let's see how many elitists from the A board come and dislike this video, huh? And look, again, let me just be clear that there is absolutely nothing wrong with liking a show, disliking a show, or even your opinions on one show to change over time. We're people with growing brains, it's only natural. If anything, I think if your opinions on a show change over time, then that's a good thing. It not only means that you're learning more stuff about anime and being more open-minded towards different aspects of anime, but you're also learning and changing and growing as a person. I mean, for better or worse is really your prerogative, but just don't let people like Matthew and other anime elitists to just completely change your mind about something. Be open-minded to both sides of the argument. Look at both pros and cons. Look at all the different opinions on one anime or one aspect of anime and draw your own conclusions from all the information that you have gained. Because wouldn't it be so beautifully ironic that the whole reason why you might 
possibly end up disliking anime and disliking this entire anime community as a whole is because of these quote-unquote real anime fans. But hey, this rant went on for way too long and I'm sweating way too hard, but if there are any other articles or pieces of news about the anime and otaku world that you'd like me to share and spit my opinions on you about, then follow me on Twitter, link them the articles there, and uh, yeah, enjoy my shit posting in the meantime. And look, lastly, Matthew, I don't know if you're watching this video or not, but I just hope that in the four years that has passed since you wrote this article, you've changed as a person. I hope you've opened your eyes like I once did and saw how much it fucking sucks to be an anime elitist. I hope you've grown up as a person. I hope you've learned to be respectable to other people. I hope you've learned to be more open-minded towards all sorts of things. And I hope you've learned that really just be proud that you even like anime at all. And I hope you've learned especially the most important lesson of all. Everybody but you has shit taste in anime. But again guys, if you want to throw in your two cents, leave them all in the comments below. I only want to see them in this fucking comment section, alright? And hey, if you enjoy what I do on these videos, then the best place to do it is over on my Patreon. A lot of you guys have been supporting me on my Patreon, and it's helping me so fucking much in doing what I love to do. So if you want to support me, the best place to do it is there. Click that first link in the description below if you'd like to join in on the fam. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like your favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe from right now my banner and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Johnny.